South Korea's first lady is carrying some extra baggage that could threaten her husband's re-election hopes. The issue is hitting camera video that appears to show First Lady Kim Kyon hee accepting a $2,250 Dior handbag from a pastor who is reportedly advocating for the unification of the Korean Peninsula. The video appears on the YouTube channel Voice of Seoul. It's another flashpoint in South Korea's tumultuous political culture. President Yoon suk yeols administration is facing multiple threats to the country's economy and security. The alleged gift scandal comes at a pivotal time as Yoon's party looks to regain a majority of seats in April's election. Yoon's allies claim the release of the video, filmed more than a year ago, is politically motivated, with the intent of jeopardizing his political aspirations. Yoon and his wife have chosen to remain silent on the accusations, saying they have no information to add. South Korea's president has been laser-focused on North Korea. Ongoing nuclear tests by adversary Kim Jong-un have caught the world's attention in the new year. And on top of that, unexpectedly slow economic growth is ramping up pressure on Yoon's administration. Economists polled by Reuters blame the country's economic slowdown on higher interest rates and national debt. Piling onto the country's challenges, Yoon is now forced to face issues in his personal life. The controversy around accusations his wife accepted an unlawful gift is capturing voters' attention. According to the New York Times, the Korean-American pastor at the center of the alleged gift-giving secretly filmed the encounter with a spy camera in a wristwatch. The video claims to show the pastor visiting the first lady in her office and gifting her the swanky bag. The news outlet also reports the pastor became motivated to expose the first lady after a meeting with her. He said he overheard a conversation in which she appeared to be playing the role of a senior government official. Experts say the acceptance of the gift could be a violation of an anti-bribery law. According to the Korea Law Translation Center, the law defines any gift of more than 1 million won or 751 U.S. dollars to be a violation of the law, even if it's not found to be a conflict of interest. The punishment ranges from imprisonment with labor to hefty fines, according to the center. The president and first lady remain silent on the incident, now dubbed the Dior bag scandal. But members of Yoon's own party are calling on the couple to apologize. The public also wants answers. The New York Times reports a majority of South Korean voters polled want an investigation, an explanation, and most believe it was inappropriate to accept the gift. The First Lady's alleged acceptance of the purse also brings into question the gift giver. The bag comes from a man who has advocated for friendly relations between the North and South. Yoon has taken a harder line on North Korea in recent months, and his unification minister has said reunification would only be considered when and if North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's regime is overthrown and North Korea is liberated. The political ramifications go beyond the Korean peninsula. Yoon is a staunch ally of the United States and Japan. Both countries have diplomatically and militarily shown their support for South Korea, as aggression from the North remains a concern for the foreseeable future.